You already know what's up. <laughs> okay, well, welcome back to the channel. Um, yeah, I know. I I like doing that because Keenan and JC, you know, they're, they're such big influencers. Anyways, I'm gonna be reacting to my. I'm gonna yeah, be reacting to a game called uh, Okami. Okami. It's a Japanese game. Here's the front, back, front again. Um. So this game just got released today. So if you haven't already, go buy a GameStop and pick up your game today. So here we go. Once upon a time in a faraway land, there was a tiny village by the name of Kamaki. Ooh. Legend tells of a horrible beast that threatened the residents. It also tells of the wolf that risked it all to protect them. Aww. Controlling the very fabric of the existence, this wolf stood up against a beast many times its size and banished the darkness. Ooh. This is World Wolf's valiant act ushered an era of tranquility. The village Villagers' hearts swelled with respect and adoration of the wolf. Jay Qua, is there a Jay Qua here? I'm Hey, hey, Ron, you talking about stuff? Hey, hey, Ron. <laughs> okay, there's a wolf. The kind of reminds me of the wolf in uh, Naruto. You know what? I'm loving it so far because I've always loved the whole like Asian culture, like J Japanese or Korea and China Chinese. I know it's funny. Um, my boyfriend is actually Asian. He's um he's Filipino, so it's kind of a trip thinking about it. Because back in high school, I've, I I've always it was I was so into K-pop that I was like. You know what? I kind of want to have an Asian guy. You know, you know, it didn't matter what Asian descended. You know, it could have, you know, could be Korean, Japanese, or whatever. Well, I guess my uh, high school dreams came true. I guess because I'm dating a Filipino guy. So yeah. Oh, Kani. Oh, yeah. But yeah, I've always loved. You know that you know, especially with K-pop, that was like my favorite thing back in high school was K-pop. You know, and I and you know, and I still love all that. You know, Japanese and stuff, all that good stuff. So it's actually really interesting. I'm not gonna lie. But I think I know more of the um, Korean culture than any other other Asian cultures. I mean, I know some because I did join a, an Asian culture club back in high school. Okay, a tiny hamlet known as Kamaki lay, nest lay nestled in a group of proud and beautiful cherry blossoms. Ooh. Each and every tree around the quiet burg was honored as a god. However, the village the village was not was not without its dark secrets. Ooh, those cherry blossoms are beautiful. To Satiate appetite of Orchi, a fearsome cave dwelling beast. A young maiden was offered as a sacrifice at the annual festival. With a body like a mount, like with a body like a mountain, and a, and eight heads mount on its neck, on neck the size of tree trunks. Its blood red eyes alone were said to curse. Anyone who gazed into them, no one dared disobey the horrific beast. Ooh. Uh, sorry if I keep messing up, but you know, it's kind of it's hard to pronounce. It's kind of hard. <laughs> when the night of the sacrifice drew near, a mysterious white wolf appeared outside the village. This wolf. Its coat as brilliant as as brilliant as snow was dubbed Shiran Shiran something. The wolf kept a watchful eye on anyone who ventured outside the 
village and made a habit of patrolling the streets at night. People assume the wolf to be a familiar of Orchard. One villager took it upon himself to face the fearsome Sharanyu. Sh the warrior Nagi attempted many times to challenge the wolf, but his attempts were thwarted by Sharanyu's swift movements. And it's hard to pronounce some like Japanese words, so bear with me because I suck. Before long, the night of the accursed festival had arrived. A white plumbed arrow hurled the coming sacrifice. Piercing the sky, the arrow sunk its shaft squirrely into into the home of Nami, the village's most beautiful maiden. Nagi, har harboring a secret love for Nami, Nagi, harboring a secret love for Nami, was enraged by this sign. Determined to put an end to Orchi once and for all, Nagi traveled to the beast's cave in place of his beloved. Aww. Now that's rom that's true romance right there. The moon cave, a place as dark as evil itself, served as Orchi's home as Nagi stood bravely before the entrance. A beast appeared, eyes glowing crimson, eight thrashing necks. Orchard stood tall before him, anxious for another sacrifice. Nagi leaped with incredible grace, swinging his blade violent, violently. On and on he sliced well into the mo moonless night. But Orchi had hide was like steel. The blade left nearly nearly a scratch. This is actually really interesting. I'm not gonna lie, this is like really interesting. Especially the romantic part. At long last, Nagi has energy spent from the intense battle. Dropped to his knees, fatigued and gasping for breath. He knew he was staring death in the face. It was then, then that the wolf appeared. As if to protect Nagi, it stood its ground before Orchi. In the darkness of the cave, the wolf's coat shone brilliant, brilliantly. At last, it was Shiranyu, the wolf that dwelled outside the village. Bearing its fearsome claws, Shiranyu leaped towards Orchi. Orchi reached reared its terrifying head, re reading its fangs for battle. Then two beasts, beasts struggled widely, thrashing in the darkness. Mysterious and terrifying, the spectacle continued. Shernyu summoned ge guests of divine when to counter or choose flame flames. As Orchis closed on, in on Shernyu, sharpened claws glistening, a giant tree suddenly sprouted forth, shielding the wolf. Shiranyu fought gallantly to gain the upper hand. However, Orchi, protected by a protected by mis mystical power, was not easily beast best bested. Not a word. Uh, Shiranyu, covered in gashes, majestic coat dyed crimson, stood exhausted before the mighty Orchi. Orchi saw a chance to strike what would be the final blow. But Shanyu refused to give in with its last ounce of strength. The majestic wolf gazed heavenward and unleashed a mighty howl, 
Suddenly, the black clouds over her dis dissipated. Mm. The light from above glinted off Nagi's sword as a beacon of hope. Guided by his sword, Nagi, who had been taking shelter in the shadows, stood proudly to face his ad adversary. Channeling all his strength into his sacred and battered arms, he leaped ferociously toward, toward Orchi, his sword poisoned high. Poised. <laughs> the golden sword danced in his hands like a puppet on a string. One by one, Orchi's fearsome <laughs> separated from the, their owner, excuse me. <laughs> Orchi's broken body collapsed in a lake of its own blood. In that instant, the curse that plagued the villagers was lifted. As the battle subsided, the sun shone once again in the sky. Shiranu's, Shiranu had sub succumbed to Orchi's poison and struggled to breathe. Nagi scooped the beast into his arms and returned to Kamiki. When they reached the, when they reached the village, Shanu was no longer moving. The village the village el elder gently struck the wolf's head. In response, Shanu let out a hoarse and pitiful bark. <laughs> then closed its eyes and drifted off as as if into slumber. Peach well peach. Peace had, had last returned to Kamaki Village. In honor of Shranu's heroic exploits, the villagers erected a shrine and placed a statue of the wolves within, of the wolf within it. Nagi's sword was christened Tsukokami and placed inside the moon cave. The villagers all looked forward to an age of endless peace. However, this is not the end of the story. Ooh. There is more to this tale than most people know. A hundred years has passed since Nagi and Charnu's heroic exploits. It happened so quickly that no one in the village even took notice. Is this the legendary sword? Is this Tsukami Tsuk Mai the oh, Churd? Whatever. Um, no, it couldn't be. It's just a legend, nothing but a fairy ta tale. Oh, this had to be in Japanese. I don't want to keep reading. Oh shit! You done messed up, a a Ron. Put that on my head. Oh, my goodness gracious! It was a lot of reading. Oh, oh, oh! He who seek power, he who has broken my bond. Speak the words, I wish darkness unto the world. Utter that prayer unto me. Okay, I'm not even gonna read that in case something happens. So the thing is back alive. So that monster is alive. Came the fires of hell. 
Now, but there is fire, so the, the darkness is coming back up again. A horrible tragedy suddenly swept over the land. However, there was one village that seemed to escape that terrible, terrible curse. The tiny settlement of Kamaki village enjoyed the protection of a sacred tree. It is here that the real story begins. Woods spirit 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 South Gay. How troublesome. This is just like the ancient prophecy of doom. What has transpired to bring about such climatic climatic? We must act quickly, there is no time to lose. My power has diminished over the years I spent protecting this area. I don't have much time left in this world. Um, something now is the time. We have never needed your power more. Shine your divine light upon this broken and polluted world. Let your heavenly rays become our hope as you guide us all. Oh my god, I'm getting sick of reading this. <laughs> Ah, uh, such divine white light, such beauty and grace. <laughs> the only w one ca capable of such a wondrous spectacle is none other than our mother and the origin of all that is amateur something. How delightful to see that the Savior who was brave, brave sacrifice sealed away the evil demon so many years ago has not changed one bit. Seeing you emerge after so many years spent as a statue brings happiness to my heart. Sniff. So gaze above you and take in the condition of the sky. Since you're unadmittedly departure from our midst, some midst of the world that has succumbed to dubious and vicious beasts. They have ravaged our fine and bountiful out country of Nippon, but never have the circumstance been worse than, than they are at this very moment. <sighs> Please use your power to, to banish the darkness and punish those who would do us harm. Um, it was this. Has something stole its way into my robe? Ew. Ho ho ho. Oh, he he he. Ha 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 ha. She's just like, I'm not gonna read it. Phew, what on earth? You again. Oh, 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 are you nuts? Boy, for a little thing, you are sure make a big fuss. I was just trying to make the conversation a bit more interesting. That's all. Were you napping in my clothes again, bug? Ugh, I told you a thousand times not to call me that. I'm a wandering artist. The name's Isun. Wandering artist Isun. I'll show you just how great I am and it won't be long till you're bowing before my great brush. <laughs> 
God, let's just be in freaking English. God, come on now, people. Come on, creators. Well, sh well, what do you think? Even cuter than the real thing, no? What's with you, for while You look kind of down in the dumps. Sorry. Actually, you look kind of familiar. Got it? You look just like that statue of Shinar. Whoa, what do you think you're doing? Are you crazy? Handsome, a handsome guy like me should never be covered in wolf slobber. You'll regret messing with the great sun. Don't make me use my prize sword against you. Oh my god. Okay, I love I love the concept of it and it's interesting, but whoa whoa whoa, what's that growling sound? I'm, I'm already getting sick of it. And why is it so dark anyway? Oh my god, my son. Oh great god, I'm a I use all the power I have to protect Kamaki Village. The village lives on their spirits. I encased in my fruit. Cut it free and the village will be born. I trust in you. I know that you will lead us down the right path. Only your answered awesome power can restore life to the world. The trees return to normal. Does he really has? That's what I said. Some I okay. Press skip. Good, thank God I'm like, sick of. You know what? I'm not even gonna talk for the rest of like a couple for a couple minutes, cause my jaw is hurting me. Skip it. Where are we? I got awfully quiet. It got awfully quiet. Of all of a sudden, I don't remember only playing like this. Well, we better keep on. You can use the right stick to look around. Change your form like that. You don't need any of it. You don't need it. Like, I like the whole concept of it. I just don't like the fact that it's not in English. <laughs> oh, by the way, it's my boyfriend's birthday today. And my uncle's birthday, too. <laughs> and a friend of mine on Twitter. A mutual friend. 
Uh, I think I had name though, but... Oh! Let's see if I have it. Here you go. Her name's, um, Cloudy Mares. And it's her birthday. So, happy birthday, Cloudy Mares. You're awesome! And this will be her profile. Cloudy Mares. Okay, so, um, it's just, I would like, um, uh, try to keep it as simple as possible, but, um, so, the wool pads a mission. There, that's, uh, that's simple enough. <laughs> and it's dark out. And the game is dark. <laughs> oh, there's stars. Oh, my stomach. Oh, the star makes a dragon. But there's like one missing so. Bah humbug. <laughs> Kitty, love Christmas. Oh, he has to, like, make the, the dragon stars could Oh my god, my head. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, god. I had my stomach. Oh my god. I Ew, that sounds scary. So the wolf is going in the water, going across the stream. ate an apple and then he ate a peach and then an orange Yeah, it's running through the forest. Mm. 
Ooh, and they ate a dumpling. That sounds so good. Oh. Everything. And I have Christmas Christmas in the night. So I gotta get those done. The drawing kind of game. Oh my god. Oh, I have to have this now. So now the wolf has to fight off some evil spirits. I don't want talking as much, but uh, I did so much talking. I think my jaw hurt. I'm trying to keep it simple. So the wolf is um oh. so the wolf defeated the demon. There. And it's so 
still going on. And the easiest way to defeat it is to draw something and then you I'm gonna go complain to my boyfriend because <laughs> I do that with him now. He used to be with my ex, but I couldn't really complain to him because all he would ever go, all he ever told me was, like, why, are you, why are you so sad? You have everything. You don't need to be sad. You know, like, like why are you so depressed? You have everything you ever wanted. Like, fuck you. No, so I go, so that was my, with, the guy I'm dating now, yeah, my boyfriend. I, I can complain to him whenever I want and it just it's made it so nice. Okay, so the wolf is going and is still is running. Okay, so he, the, the wolf went into a rock and he magically appeared into another dimension. Keep it as short and sweet as possible because I am done with the whole like talk, talk, talk. Sorry, jaw is happening there. And all the darkness got restored and it's going back to light. Beautiful light. This isn't even... This game doesn't even have levels, it's just like random. Actually, no game... No game has levels anymore. Who oh, had a uh, Twitch? It sounds like he's stepping in like dirt or mud or dry concrete. Just kidding, no dirt. Oh my. Hmm. Oh my god. Gracious. Ugh. It was this was actually a lot more shorter. No, it's going longer. <sighs> oh. Oh. oh for like two seconds. Whoa, that sounds like a bear. I'm like that way too fast. Ooh. Oh shit, I'm on the edge of the bed again. No god. Okay, so ha something happened. I wish I had my LA sweater. Crop top sweater to be exact. Oh, so it, the wolf is still running through the forest. 
And the bug is saying that he wants to go back to the sacred deck. So I think they're gonna go back to the sacred deck. Yep. Back to the sacred deck. But it's bad because the sun's not shining. Uh, the villagers can't move a muscle. I don't know why, but they just can't. Uh, okay, he. My friend said he did it. Yeah, he did. But I went, on, I went on Instagram and I saw that JC posted something, so I'm just like, my man! I'm a little sad that he asked Chelsea to be his girlfriend because JC was that guy that I, you know, I was really pretty much open to. So, um, yeah. That broke my heart. Okay, so now the, um, Wolf is fighting demons again, and, um, oh, oh my Okay, so he gets seeds. Ugh, my eyes are my eyes are watering. Oh my gosh, like at this way we're probably we're not even gonna have dinner. Mr. Orange, I miss the sun. Sun, miss the golden sun. Please shine down on me. <coughs> okay, so the wolf is um just fighting with the demons again. Oh god, what the frick? So the wolf met a girl, uh, uh, a human, I don't know, met up with Christian, I don't know. I'm trying to make it simple without, I don't
My boyfriend is sad, Jack. <laughs> it's like when someone doesn't, some someone doesn't message you back, and you have them on Snapchat. Send them a snap. It's easy, so much easy now. Hopefully he sees it though. <laughs> this snap I'm gonna get mad like mm. Mm. okay Woo! yeah that was it for right now um hope you all enjoy I'm sorry that wasn't so talkative for a little bit but my jaw side of her and it was just ugh, I'm having a headache, my stomach hurts, I'm starving, just ugh. Okay, so um, be sure you give this video a big old thumbs up uh, and don't forget to subscribe, click that notification button to be notified when we do videos and yeah, so peace, love ladybug. Love you all, stay safe, bye!